Hello there. We're going to call this segment Questions with B Short. Questions that you submitted about the album on Instagram in my story. Here we go. Don't get mad at me. I got to answer this question because it was asked four times. Is I just want to ride with the top down an explicitly sexual reference? No. Riding with the top down is a common phrase used to describe riding a convertible. Ooh, this is an amazing question. Where would your dream live performance be? Easy. As somebody that's lived in LA the previous five years before moving to Sacramento, the gem of all music venues and theater and orchestra. I mean, if I could do any venue in the world, I mean, pipe dream way out. I mean, any venue in the world, it'd be the Hollywood Bowl as the sun was setting behind the Hollywood Hills. No question, easy answer, Hollywood Bowl. What other artists have you written for? What is the most famous song you've been a part of ghostwriting? Who have you ghostwritten for? Long story short, I've had two kind of fun ghostwriting moments, both with younger rappers, both signed to Atlantic Records, and that, as a ghostwriter, my friends, is all I can say. If you could choose a walk-up song for any Major League Baseball player, who would it be and what would the song be? Also, easy question. My good friend Jeremy Walker, who was pitching for the Braves in 2019, is now signed with the San Francisco Giants. Jeremy, as I know you are seeing this video because you and I are good friends, I am asking you to use one of the songs off this album as your actual walk-up song in San Francisco. So whether that be the Daydream and Freestyle, whether that be KOMD, whether that be any of the others, I am asking you, Jeremy Walker, if I could pick your walk-up song Honestly, I'm not sure which one it would be, but it would be one of the songs on the B Short Daydreaming album. In line with the Daydreaming freestyle, <laughs> I have to say, Big Pock and Nas. Um, for sure, some of those classics, Tribe Called Quest, Outcast, and then in my middle school years, um, that was kind of when G Unit was huge. But I'm saying this, and I'm not trying to be cliche, I'm being honest. Lecrae taught me that he, he could be a rapper, that I could be a rapper a believer, somebody that infiltrated had feet in both worlds, that I could believe and stand for something and also still create good music. And then I think I'm interesting too, I was the East Coast kid that grew up loving West Coast rap. So whether it be Snoop or Game or several of the others, if you can name a classic uh, rapper as well as the Lecrae's and the Andy Minios and the KB's and others that were also in the Christian space and those that were kind of keeping their feet in both worlds, they really influenced me that I could be someone that did the same. This question in from the Instagram handle, Dog Whip Dizzle. What is the song right now that makes you feel like a hashtag girl boss? I would say Mr. Dog Whip Dizzle. The entire Sour album by Olivia Rodrigo. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so when did you write your first song <laughs> and what was it about? So my first song I ever wrote, actually I don't know, I was writing poems in middle school and I'm not even sure if they were songs or not, but the first song I can really remember saying, oh this is a song that I'm writing, was the year that the Wobble song came out, Wobble Baby Wobble Baby Wobble, and I had a crush that year on a girl, it was between freshman and sophomore year, and the girl's name was Elena Womble, and I wrote a song that summer called Womble Baby Womble, which seems like something I would do in a creative stroke of genius, but that's the first song I ever remember writing. Who is the little mama in the Top Down song? Also something that I would love to clarify here on Instagram. The little mama in the Top Down song, if you look at history, not always, but often, if it's any means of transportation, if it's a ship or a car, there's often a reference to them as feminine. So the little mama in the car is actually the car, and riding with the top down is also actually about riding in a convertible car. Thank you for asking.